is Apex Legends dead 2020 and why Apex is dying. Apex has been a huge game for almost all of 2019, but what happened to it in 2020? And what's the main cause of its decline? First, let me show you some stats of how Apex is doing late 2020. On Google Trends, you can clearly see that Apex Legends has been declining in players ever since the first few months. But summer 2020, it's already hit its lowest point compared to other games like Fortnite and COD. Not just YouTube and Google, but Apex isn't doing good on Twitch either. Definitely not top 5, or maybe not even top 10 games on Twitch right now. Probably has around 10k viewers. We do see some spikes from players returning during new seasons, but they just quit after a few days or weeks. I will be discussing why people are leaving later in the video. Now that you know that Apex is basically a dead game or close to dead, should you play it in 2020? In my opinion, if you really want to, it's not a bad game. Yes, the community isn't as big and people are quitting every day, it's still a solid game people still play. I would still recommend other games like Fortnite or COD if you're into battle royales. Now, I'm going to talk about why Apex is dying and what Respawn Entertainment can fix about that. Back in 2019, it felt like Apex was going to take over Fortnite. A lot of people thought it would be the greatest game ever because almost every streamer played it. Slowly, Fortnite pros started playing Fortnite again because of their fan base, and new streamers and gamers that stuck to Apex were also quit. Many of y'all already saw this coming, and that's boredom. A ton of streamers, pros, and even just the casual players said that Apex was so boring in 2020. Here's why. The main reason is that Respawn Entertainment doesn't listen to the community. Some problems since day one, they didn't even fix. For example, hackers. Yes, they have a report feature, but hackers just ruin the game completely for some people because they keep on getting into games. Another thing Apex fans have been asking for are more updates. This is the main reason Apex feels boring and the main reason pros are quitting. A huge mistake Respawn is making is it's not changing the game enough. It feels like if you played the first day, you'll just hop back into Apex a year later and feel no difference whatsoever. Even back then on launch in February 2019, Apex was so polished. It felt like the perfect game. Respawn perfected everything about it. That's the reason it got 10 million players so quickly. Actually, in its first 72 hours after launch. Compared to Fortnite, it reached 10 million by two weeks. This really demonstrates how good of a game Apex used to be. But they can still change some parts of the game. For example, still haven't added solos or duos permanently. I don't know why, but that's just a weird decision made by Respawn. This really limits players who don't have friends, or who do, but only want to play a specific game mode. Even if you queue up in field boats, sometimes people don't have mics, and most of the time, they won't even land with you, because they just have 2 IQ, just trying to play the game for the first time. When they do add new content, it gets very stale, very quickly. What Apex can take from other games to not get boring, for example Warzone, are just adding more content in more consistently. Warzone had solos and duos in like a month, so why can't they do the same? Plus, they're adding new weapons and making changes to the game as a whole. Although they did add new stuff every season, it does get very stale at the end of each season for probably the last month. Fortnite kinda has the same issue, but they do fix this by adding major updates once every month or so, even after the season's launch. Another reason Apex is dying is because of its bad balance changes. Apex used to be a skill for a game that pros can enjoy, the casual player can enjoy, just everyone can enjoy. Now, just like Fortnite, they focus on new players, which there aren't much, and buff and nerf some weapons for no reason, and make everything just overpowered. Just make people talk about the game and not get bored of it. But that's just gonna last you so long, and people 100% will get bored of it in the long run. For example, when Fortnite had mechs, yes everyone hopped on to check them out, but once it's been like a month, everyone already quit because Fortnite didn't fix their issue before it's too late. The weapons aren't the only thing that's unbalanced, also the characters or heroes are. With every patch, 
there are going to be characters that are super good, super trash, and like I said, they don't update their game regularly, so you'll have to be stuck in a bad meta for months. The spawn rate of things are just trash too. You might not even find a gun if you loot 3 houses. I know a battle royale's main goal to survival, but come on, at least one gun per house. Even Fortnite and Warzone make this a thing. And Fortnite chests have as high a spawn rate and the rate of a gun of a chest is 100%. Not to mention the floor loot. Warzone, chests itself have a 100% spawn rate and so are the guns in them. Plus, you might not even find a shotgun or any close range weapon in Apex since spawn rates are so low for some guns. In conclusion, even though Apex has been dying since the start of 2020, it's just balancing its loyal viewers so that it looks like a more accurate number of active players. I don't think it's going to die more in the future, but it's for sure not going to grow to what it once was. Therefore, I recommend it, just would rather play any other first person shooter. I did sound like an Apex hater, but this was constructive criticism to respawn entertainment. I just want Apex to fix their problems for the better of the players and of course, for the better of the game. Thanks for watching and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.